Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon's Den Arm Wrestling. Today we're going to discuss how you get into the top roll differently from the beginning of, of just what is basic pulling. So we're going to start by, I'll, I'll recap of what the basic pulling is, where your hand is high, your elbow's forward, you're grabbing onto your peg, you cup, you drag, and you go sideways. In a top roll, there's a couple things that change different. This is how you get into that position. You're going to cup, same exact way. You're going to drag. You're going to rotate your shoulders like away from your hand. So you're not going to, you're, you're going to, instead of being just square, you're going to turn away like this and come underneath the table like that, rolling your, rolling into your opponent's hand. And go ahead, Cody, explain it on your side. All right. You want to keep the, focus on keeping the knuckles high, knuckle towards the sky. That's what I always say. Um, cup, drag, keep your shoulders this way and rotate. And you want to keep the pressure on your brachioradialis and stay looking at your hand. Because if you roll this way, you're not really going to have much finishing power. But if you keep it this way, you're, all the pressure's on your brachioradialis, and then you can just finish from there. And the, and the reason top rolls work as good as they do is because when he goes and applies that back pressure like that, it attacks the hand. It's causing my hand to bust open on this direction. So this is a good move if you're trying to open your opponent's hand away from your away from their arm and the reason you reposition your shoulders this way is so instead of the pressure being into your shoulder where you don't can't really apply too much pressure this way you turn it this way that way it's like you're doing a hammer curl towards your face and then dropping down all right if you guys like that comment down below like and subscribe see you guys on the next one